Welcome back to 25 Things You Didn't Know About Curb Your Enthusiasm. Most people's first jobs aren't anything to write home about, unless, of course, you're Larry David, whose bad experiences made for really good material. Cruising in at number six, Larry's been in the driver's seat of his career. Lots of working men characters and doctors and these people that are, aren't usually celebrated on sitcoms appear in his shows and I'd say he has an affinity for chauffeurs probably because of his own past. First I worked for a car service and then I was a private chauffeur for an old uh, an elderly woman uh, who was um, half blind actually. And, you know, the car was filthy because I knew she couldn't see it. And I never wore the uniform. I, 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 had a, I didn't wear the cap. She wanted to know if he was wearing the cap all the time. He wore the cap, he didn't wear the cap. She was blind, didn't make a difference. Her friends would squeal on me and say, I saw your chauffeur, he didn't have the cap on, you know. <laughs> and she would say, you got your cap on? And, and, I, and I would go, yeah, yeah, I got the cap on. One of his... Uh, Friends, supposedly from college, passed by and saw him with the chauffeur's cap, and uh, Larry said it was sort of devastating for him. It was a good job, though. Actually, besides the degrading factor, which you know you kind of got to get over, but um, the hours were great. Then driving, come on. Laughing has been clinically proven to have therapeutic health benefits, not to mention it can give you killer abs. But who knew it could also help stroke victims? Open up and say, ha, for our number five, good comedic timing heals all wounds. After suffering a stroke in early 2000, co-star Jeff Garland said the show's rapid-fire improv put him on the road to recovery. Try not to die. <laughs> Try not to die. Jeff Garland in real life had had a stroke. And there are a few scenes with him walking down a hall where his speech is kind of slurred. And I think they re-looped a couple of the, of the inarticulate lines that he had. Well, you know, you go to speech therapy when you have a stroke and you're saying different things. To suddenly have to be improvising really is a great recovery tool. <laughs> Jeff said having the show to rally for and, you know, work towards helped him recover probably more quickly than he would have. Actually, somebody should think about that, having improv, although that would be really kind of pathetic to watch. But if you have patient people, uh, stroke victims, uh, improvising is a good thing.